to my channel today we continue with chapter 4 magnetic field so in this video we are going to discuss 4.5 frost between two parallel carry current carry conductor okay so the equations that we will use for this subtopic is the magnetic force per unit length okay so f over l is equal to mu naught i1 i2 over 2 pi d okay where the directions of the force if let's say i that flowing through these two conductors are similar direction or same direction okay so both of the wire it will experience an attractive force whereas if let's say i flow in opposite direction the two conductors will experience a repulsive force Okay, so this is how we determine the directions or the forces acting on these two pair current carry conductor. Okay, so we go to example 9. A two long straight pair of wire in a vacuum are 2.5 meter apart. The wires each carry a current of 2.4 in the same direction. Okay, so important thing is we must know the two current is flowing in same direction so we know that when they are flowing in same direction actually these two wire are experienced attractive force okay okay now draw and sketch showing clearly the directions of the force on each wire okay so if let's say this is my wire okay this is wire one this is wire two okay so Assuming that both currents are flowing in the same direction and both of them are flowing upward. Okay, so since they are flowing in same directions, meaning that the directions of the force is actually attract to each other. Okay, F1 will add to the left, right? And F2, it will add to the left. Okay, so both of them are attract to each other. Okay, next, calculate the force between the wire parameter of their length. So we want to find frost per L where the equation is equal to mu naught I1 I2 over 2 pi D where mu naught is 4 pi exponent negative 7 I1 here both of them is 2.4 so 2.4 times 2.4 over 2 pi R R is the distance okay so the distance here is given 0.25 so we substitute in 0 0.25 meter therefore the frost per unit length is equal to 4.6 exponent negative 6 and the unit is newton per meter because it's force per length so it's newton per meter okay next the current in one of the wire is reduced to 0 0.64 calculate the current meaning that we want to find uh, I2 okay what is the value for I2 when I1 is equal to 0 0.64 ampere okay to maintain the same force okay so to maintain the same force meaning that we must use back the force that we found just now between the wire perimeter of the length so similar we will still will use force per unit length equals to mu naught I1 I2 over 2 pi d where F over L because the question already mentioned maintain the same force so just now our force is 4.6 exponent negative 6 okay equals to mu naught 4 pi exponent negative 7 I1 0 0.64 so we need to find I2 over 2 pi D D is uh, 0 0.25 okay so now I2 Okay, I2 needed in a second wire is equal to 8.98 ampere. Okay, so that's all for this subtopic. See you on next video. We will continue with 4.6 talk on a coin. Bye.